Welcome back, Hersh Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be doing Goblin Slayer, Episode 1. Uh, this was a Patreon re request from Brandon Schumach, so I appreciate that. Um, if you don't know, uh, you can request something on my Patreon, patreon.com slash AJRich123 on our Yandere tier. Uh, so this was requested. Uh, I have heard the name. Actually, I've had it requested uh, a couple times, I, and I've heard the name before, but I've never seen it. So I'm kind. Of, I'm going into this blind, not knowing what's uh, what this is about or anything. But it seems like a shorter show. So you guys can let me know if this is like worth reacting to or anything um, off of this or anything. You guys can let me know. Uh, but let's go ahead and start. Type a cave. Oh. Okay, blood. Uh, what is this girl doing in a cave? This, that was a bit eerie, like right in the beginning. Huh. Fantasy. But how the heck does she get in that cave? What does she do? I don't know you would want to like wear that and show that you're the lowest though, right? Wouldn't you want to hide that? Everybody needs a healer, right? I'm assuming a priest is a healer class because priest is always healer. If you're a healer in an RPG or like an MMO, you are like gonna get in any group you want for the most part. This is like the, their main enemy goblins since this is called Goblin Slayer. It seems like they're, yeah, it seems like the main enemy. Okay. Shouldn't you be killing like boars or like rabbits or something on your first quest or bring a potion back and forth like to a, an NPC? Okay, so they're supposed to be weaker. Well, looks like you got a mage and a fighter. She can kind of chill in the back, though. Yeah, see? Priest is usually always the healer. Some kind of, like, totem. Yeah, if you don't have any way to attack, you probably should not be by yourself. Especially since it's your first quest. Uh, but what if they just came from the entrance or something? Or, oh shit. They just want to come play! They don't look that strong, though. Uh, that's not good. Why aren't the other two coming back? Holy Jesus! Why aren't the other two coming back? It's probably just because they're not a... They weren't fighters. Doesn't seem like they're very experienced at all. Uh... Oh, shit. Okay. Slow motion. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No. This isn't a kid. This isn't like fucking G rated. I don't like this. Now I'm, I'm getting bad vibes all over. This is supposed to be a beginner's dungeon, right? This seems like... No. 
Oh my, what the, what the fuck? Am I watching the wrong type of show here? I think we just went into a head tie. Some fucked up one. This is not what I was expecting. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, yeah, she was in a cave in the very beginning, but how the hell? Rape and like just slaughter, death, stab. Like this got dark so fast. I I was not expe expecting that. What? the hell kind of show is this what a first episode what a way to start a show so this is like fucking a horror show then it has to be some type of dark horror show stop taking her clothes is she pissing herself or is that blood Oh God, what is their fetish? Ah! It's gotta be some nightmare or something. This has to be. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, okay. Well, there had to be more people. <laughs> Jesus. This is, show does not hold back. Who cares? The guy saved you. Oh, Goblin Slayer. The title, <laughs> title of the show, Goblin Slayer. Okay, so we're actually using the title of the show as, okay, we don't need a long pause for that. But. That's why you don't go in dark caves as a rookie. You're supposed to get apples, collect five apples. Damn. Well, if he's a goblin slayer, he knows how they fight. Oh, okay. He, um, he fulfilled your wish. I guess that's kind of mercy, you know? Yeah, but, oh man. I mean, she could technically heal, so she could help. Can you recoup those? Like... Is that per a day or something? Co oh, covering in, like, goblin blood will make them blend in. That makes sense. Now they're just gonna smell like goblins. Jesus. Yeah, see, they weren't properly equipped. See, see, they were making it seem like it was, this was a fun little, like, adventure. Like, they're, you know, she's getting her quests. They're all like, hey, you can go join a party and everything. But, man, did they take, like, uh, did they take just a, uh, you know, a fun little, like, fun little area and then... You know, put you in, instead of put it, putting you in a regular quest, they put you in a bloodthirsty, creepy, freaking, I don't even know what they want, goblins. See, they should have had a pro or, like, somebody that had some type of a, like, some type of knowledge, like this guy. <laughs> It did not look good for her. I don't even want to know. I mean, at least he specializes in that. Yeah, to get that good, it seems like these goblins are no joke. Quicker you move, the quicker you can get out of there, but you also got to be careful. Guard this pure maiden, please. You must protect her. Protect the innocent. Yeah, we already saw what they do with the bodies. Just run. Oh, 
At least she has somebody, like, actually guiding her now. Looks like there's even, like, bigger ones. Oh! Burn the little... That was smart. Nice move. Probably not good to go back. Oh! Oh! We're not out of it yet, though. Gotta get out of the cave. Holy Jesus. Yeah. Oh! Uh, must have been faking there. <laughs> Really? Holy Jesus. Um, let me guess. He's got to slaughter him, but. Especially if they're going to multiply that fast. I mean, you can always think they're. Damn. This is all episode one. What the hell is this show? That's kind of hard to stomach. This is like your first quest. You're never going to want to go on another quest again. You learned this is not happy time. Yeah, that would twist you for a long time. Well, that didn't shake her. I mean, if you can get through that, you can get through anything. Ah, and... Okay, so if she can go with him, that's, like, perfect. Oh, maybe not? Oh, okay. Holy hell, guys. That is a first episode if I've ever seen one. Yes, we, there's been some shows I come to think of it like Attack on Titan or maybe like there's a, a couple first episodes that are pretty crazy. But holy shit. I mean, the, this wasn't just this was literally like in your face little goblins like clawing and going after girls, blood like your entire party dying in the very first episode. I, I, god damn, I would have never expected that. That was ridiculous. Like, I didn't, it, may, I should have, like, realized the red flags. Yeah, she, like, when, when it showed her in the beginning and she's scared or whatever in a cave, I was like, okay, so, you know, somehow it gets to that. But I didn't think it was to that point where you slaughter the entire, I, I just, did, uh, that's insane. That that went way darker than I ever could have imagined. And if that's the first episode, holy shit, uh, that's a lot to look forward to. I mean, I, you usually a first episode will like like that means a good ass show. So I I'm I'm kind of excited. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's one of those things like. If she she got through, she was able to handle all that. Obviously, she got help, and that Goblin Slayer guy going, uh, you know, going in there. Great timing. It's good that he was able to get there. But you know, it's like you went into the final boss, and you went and and you saw like everybody, like you saw everything you could possibly see, and you still want to move on. Then you're gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine then. Because if you could deal with that right in front of your eyes, and as we saw the other girl traumatized, and that's what they were saying, these girls are traumatized after that happens, which is absolutely understandable. That's why you got to really give it, you know, really give it to this girl to be able to, like, she was, I mean, she was shaken in the cave, but you see her once she was with the Goblin Slayer, and she's back in the, uh, you know, back there, and she's ready to do another, you know, ready to do another quest, ready to do another adventure right away. I'm in, I'm actually impressed because I I mean I didn't expect any of this shit but I definitely I, I thought she would be in the same boat as that other girl like shaken never wanting to like traumatized you know I, that would give you nightmares for life I mean this isn't like I mean it would be bad enough if you get captured by humans and have that you know like you get captured by you know your same people but these little creepy goblin things that 
in any other like in any other thing i would think these things would be like the weakest they look like they would be level one weakling goblins that would you know that would be really easy to beat you know what i mean but and yeah they're newbie people but even the goblin slayer like he said he had to be really he was like precise about everything yeah he was able to destroy him pretty pretty easily but but he still had to he had to use her magic to make sure like there was certain assists and still to be able to get out of there now i i can't tell like how he's definitely strong i don't know how much stronger than all of them but i don't know i i i, I was just I, I don't know the best thing i could say i was not expecting that that was a action-packed first episode that, those are like my fit when you can get like an episode like a, to compare attack on titan first episode that like drives you into a series like that that is the best that's why what, what i'm feeling like you feel an adrenaline rush during it now i was a bit creeped out in the beginning but then it got actually once once the, the situation controlled a little bit even though they all still ended up dying and like slaughter you know slaughtered and everything one of them you know one of the other ones survived but man it was bad enough i think the big red flags is when they split up into two groups you know it's gonna be bad there because they're like the mate why wouldn't you put one of the fighters with one of the mages when you split because both even like if they get close you know you're fighting goblins so you're thinking they're gonna cl fight close up you're gonna want like a fighter with you that was like probably their first mistake and then i mean and I would say going would probably be their most, but newbies, I guess, and the way they were explaining at the end, you know, newbies, I guess, make that type of mistake often. Um, but the way, you know, another thing I want to note that the way that um, one of the, the adventure guys that ended up dying, he was talking like goblins were not really anything. They were like the low stuff. And he was talking about dragons. And that's why it made me thought I was like, oh, it made me think, it, yeah, that's it's probably not going to be the goblins wouldn't be that tough because they were acting like it was some, you know, newbie dungeon, newbie, you know, just, e you know, easy stuff that uh, new people can actually fight. Um, but th that was obviously not the case. And they, this isn't one of those shows that went the route where, you know, it doesn't show the blood or it like turn pans the camera. And maybe if somebody gets stabbed, it doesn't show it or bear it. You know, you hear it. They literally showed almost everything. I mean, they, it looked like it was a little bit censored, but bare, I mean, barely at all. Like that, that went, that show, that was like. I, I for a second there I thought it was gonna become a different type of a different type of show I thought it was going a nasty right I was like what the f what the hell is this right in the first episode we're going crazy <laughs> but anyway guys oh my god what a great recommendation thank you uh thank you for the patreon request man uh, that this was a great suggestion holy crap um if you guys want to request an episode like this or a video, feel free to check out the Yandere tier on my Patreon. That would be much appreciated. Um, but thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.